right this is part two and I rinsed out the aloe vera oil treatment and I really don't see a big difference from just a regular wash um, my hair it actually feels drier for some reason um, but nonetheless that is done so now I am going to go ahead and do my usual I uh, have a concoction of oil here that I use and it's basically the Africa's um, best herbal oil and vitamin E and black seed oil and I just uh, mix it in a bottle and then this is the rest of my uh, aloe vera oil mix I guess I'll save that for next time so all I'm going to do is put in my leave-in conditioner and my oil mix and it's kind of just ain't no particular way just put it in there And I like the Shea Miracle by African Pride, the leave-in conditioner. This, uh, I really like this here. And see, it's like a pudding. <laughs> okay. So first I'll just put it all over. I'll just squeeze it just to get the oil in. And I normally just section it into four sections. And then I'll put a little more leave-in conditioner because I try and get it 
on the roots and then just kind of massage it in. Like I said, my hair tangles so quick. So I finger comb it first and then I'll take the detangling brush and then kind of brush it. So I like the detangling brush, but the only thing I don't like about it is that your hand, the handle is so small, and so with your hand being greasy, it just slips. So sometimes it's hard to uh, manage, but I like it. See how it just. Detangle it. And this goes through it. I really like the brush. Okay. Now, what I do is my next stain. I like Africa's Best. The Shea Butter. And I just add a little of that. Well, actually, instead of you, I use this sometimes. But because I'm going to put it up, this is the Luster Silk Chrome Activator Moisturizer. I really like this here. So I'm going to use this here. And as you can see, you don't need a whole lot. See, I rub it on my fingertips and then my whole hands. And I just finger comb it and massage it through. And then I just twist it. And since I'm not going anywhere today, I pretty much just leave it like this, put my scarf on or my bonnet, and I'm pretty much done for the day. And um, when I get ready to style it, I'll untwist it. The same thing with that luster and the oil mix. I just use that to um, give it a moisturizer. And then I like this here. The Lusty Olive Oil Detangling Spray. Now this here I use when I'm re-moisturizing my hair. Um, if it's kind of dry then I'll spray it and then detangle it with my fingers and then put my oil and stuff on. There's no big thing. I just, it doesn't matter how it is. See how it just tangles up so quick? Oh. And I just do the same. This is the leave-in conditioner so I make sure I get it to my scalp and my roots get it to the ends detangle it with my fingers and I have noticed uh, I got a lot of tips from people I am subscribed to about 
moisturizing the hair and taking care of the hair and being gentle with the hair. I'm not gentle with my hair at all. I'm very heavy handed and I'm not tender headed at all. So I can dig, scratch, pull. It doesn't even bother me. But I know it's not good for my hair because I do notice that, especially on my ends, when I trimmed it, um, they're still kind of damaged. So that's why I pay close attention to trying to make sure that they stay moisturized. Okay, so I think I detangled it with my fingers. And see, last time, oh, my hair was so, I didn't take care of it. It was so dry and just so tangled. So that's why I had to rinse it and everything before I did the aloe treatment because I didn't take care of it. I get lazy. And um, so I was just wearing it pretty much just pulled back. And... Again, I know that's not good because normally every night, I pretty much do this every night, just spritz it, moisturize it, and uh, twist it. And sometimes I'll go out with it, twist it, I'll just wrap it with a nice scarf. And then uh, depending on if I'm just going to the store or something, I'll just wrap it up with a nice scarf. But if I'm going out, out, and I know I'm going to be out for some time and around a lot of people or something like that or to dinner or something, then I'll take it down and style it. And I've been looking at a lot of nice styles, too, that I want to try because I pretty much just keep doing the same thing over and over again. And actually, instead of the four, I'm just going to do the three. Says I have no special style in mind that I'm trying to do anyway. I don't. When I twist it and take it out, I pretty much uh, either put it back up in a high puff or um, just comb it all back or brush it. My finger brush it all. Finger. Oh, I can't even say it. I pretty much just let it flow. <laughs> Put a headband on and I'm out the door. Where did my puffy afro? I guess that's what you can call it. Ooh, almost got my eye. I don't think I'd even put this on my middle braid. Uh, my middle twist. I can always go back. Mm, like I said, I have no particular routine, no particular way. Uh, as long as my hair looks nice and like I said it's growing and then I keep it moisturized especially I love that luster silk and I like this leave-in conditioner because it leaves no residue uh, sometimes with the Africa's best that curl I do know it depends on what I use with it um Depending on what I use with it, it may leave a residue, like little, you can see where it kind of clumps up a little bit, and that I don't like. 
because it makes my hair look dirty and I'm like I just my hair is not dirty and I like this because it, I can wear it up to three weeks and it leaves no residue or build up I have no problems with flaking or anything to my hair or my scalp oh I have an itchy scalp but since I've been keeping it moisturized it's actually been doing pretty good just my allergies I have really bad allergies okay and basically I'm just going to repeat the same steps I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch let me do the same thing over and over but that's pretty much what I do when I wash my hair and uh, so that is part two and any questions or comments, please leave. Thank you.